y'all what's up and welcome back so today we are going to be opening up the birch box for april 2018 if you want to see what i got then just keep on watching all right so the first product i'm seeing in here is this marcel i hope i'm saying that right bb cream in golden glow or at least i'm assuming that that is a shade name i'm not really 100% sure on that correct me if i'm wrong there is the color i wonder what the coverage is like oh my gosh that is thick you guys, that has got some coverage. Oh my gosh. That is the craziest, thickest BB cream I think I've ever seen in my life. Do you see that? That is so much coverage. We will um, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely have to try this out. That is gorgeous. And then the next product in there is this little Ico liner. Um... This, I think, is a pen liner, which you guys know is not usually my jam, but let's see. Not bad. Definitely, definitely not bad. I feel like you could get pretty good line control out of that. And for somebody like me, I always have issues with liners tugging on my eyes. And this one's not dry feeling, so hopefully it stays that way. That's always my issue with these is that... They dry out super fast and then they pull on my eyelid and I do not like that. No, I don't. <laughs> this is very interesting. Uh, this says, Hum, Beauty Starts From Within, Raw Beauty, Green Superfood Powder. Uh, this is something that you drink. I've never received something like this in a birch box. You mix into 8 ounces of water or milk and or your favorite smoothie or non-citrus juice. It's vegan whole food supplement. Helps boost energy, radiant skin, and metabolism with raw greens, adaptogens, enzymes, and probiotics. What about that? That's the first time I've ever got something like that in a birch box. I'm scared to try it. I feel like it's going to be gross. Has anybody else tried this before? Is it gross? Am I going to die? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't send me something that's going to kill me, but. <laughs> Alright, then we have got this little sample of Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I don't remember where I got the sample of this the first time. I think it might have been Sephora Play, but it's amazing. It is like my favorite scent. I don't know how to explain it, but like I'm going to bed here in just a few minutes and I'm willing to spray it on myself just because like wow I wish again I wish we had smell of vision because this I love it it is just such an awesome perfume or well, not a perfume whatever you want to call it then we have a blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream from Briogeo I'm all about heat protectant life anytime but especially now that I'm more blonde um, I definitely need some heat protectant. I actually have some damage going on right now. Had a couple little um, missing pieces. <laughs> There's some pieces of my puzzle missing on my head like today. I noticed that earlier. I was doing my hair and I was like, this piece is like really short. What happened? But of course, you know, when you go blonde, you're going to have damage. Not really much you can do about it. Just try to correct it so hopefully that right there will help me out and then the last thing in here is by the beauty crop and it's called glow milk which sounds really funny um it says it's a highlighter and you're supposed to brush it onto your cheeks and down the bridge of your nose and on your cupid bow so that's what we're gonna do Definitely looks glowy. I'm not gonna use a whole lot of this. I'm actually, where's my beauty sponge? I'm gonna tap this in with a real technique sponge. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's not gonna do nothing. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Alright, so I think the thing that I'm most excited about, obviously, is gonna be the perfume because. It's like my favorite perfume in the entire world. I've never found another one that I like as much. There is one more that I like really well and I can never think of the name of it. And as soon as I do, 
I need to write that down <laughs> so that I can buy it. Um, but then this highlighter is actually really pretty and I like how subtle it is. I feel like you could absolutely like make this go crazy if you wanted to. I feel like you could really beam your face up, but I like the subtlety of it. And then the eyeliner seems promising. I'm not usually one for pen liners, but that one seemed like it worked really well. And the heat protectant is definitely something that I need as I'm going blonder. It's absolutely going to be a necessity. It always should be a necessity. But when my hair is dark, I tend to not treat it as well as I do when it's blonde. I feel like it doesn't require as much maintenance. So I'm like, like, why bother? It's, it's doing good. Just leave it alone. And then the little BB cream, I am super impressed with that. Like, I don't know why that wasn't my favorite thing because that was a very, very impressive, impressive size of a BB cream, especially for how much coverage that it gives. Like, we're going to have to try that out really soon on here because I am extremely, extremely impressed with that coverage. But that is everything that I got in this month's Birch Box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys got in yours. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys have a really awesome day. And God bless. Bye, guys.